Welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Vay Ner Chuck. And this, my friends, is The Thunder Show, AKA the internet's most passionate tequila program. You like that mod, huh? I, put, I said tequila instead of wine. As you can see, I am not solo on The Tequila Show, which is the way I usually am when I do spirits outside of uh, wine. I have a guest here, Chad is in the house. What's up, man? What's going on, man? How are, how are you? you doing? Tell the Vaniacs who you are, what you do, how you got here, what's up, why is this going on, go. Sure, hey, uh, Chad, uh, grew up uh, here in Jersey. In uh, Dirty Jersey. Yeah, yeah, I grew up down uh, down the road, down the, down the parkway in uh, East Brunswick. Nice. So, uh, That's my hometown. Oh, hey, check that I'm out. I'm an Edison guy. So yeah, it's, it's right, right over, right up, right up Route One there, right? Very cool. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I live down in Knoxville these days. Uh, I work for a company called Scripps Networks. We own uh, Food Network, HGTV, DIY, just oh, a couple here, of small here cable channels. Here comes all the uh, yeah. rumors. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, no, no. They're, they're, and, good, uh, they're good every every three months. I'm yeah. going to Food Network. So. <laughs> So, um, you know, me and a couple other people there, are, um, I actually found out about you uh, through some fans of Viddler. Mm-hmm. That's how I first discovered you mm-hmm. a, a long time ago, kind mm-hmm. of beca- before you became the, the <laughs> celebrity that you are today. Very cool. And uh, back up here for a week, uh, doing some work, seeing some family, some friends, getting a bunch of food that you just can't get in the South. Uh, You're not a Titans fan, are you? No. Okay. No, no one actually in Tennessee. Where, uh, down in Knoxville, they're all um, Peyton fans. Because mm, of UT, sure. yeah, so they're all like, Peyton's you're, like... You're a Giants fan, aren't you? A huge Giants fan. I, I, huge I Giants just fan. sensed it. Just, it just below, it just, yeah. It just, it just started rolling in my body, like the blue and... Yeah, big, big Giants fan. Just next to a, a, a huge, giant Yankees fan. Um, so that's, that baseball still kind of first, first, first for love. me. So you're uh, a Yankees then, Giants fan. Yankees Giants. I'm a Jets Knicks fan. Yeah. I'm a Jets Knicks Randy the Macho Man Savage fan. Did I throw Excellent. you off? Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm trying to think who, who my uh, favorite, favorite, wrestler favorite wrestler is now. JYD. Um, Did you love Junkyard Dog? Yeah, yeah. He was he was pretty good. He had the chain. Uh, back in the day. And Hercules had the chain. Remember Hercules Hernandez? Yeah. First it was Hercules and Hernandez. Then they figured people didn't like the Hernandez part, so they just called him Hercules. Anyway. Anyway. Um, so <laughs> what, what happened? You emailed me. So you, right? I emailed you. I was like, hey, I'm going to be in town. Um, let's do a tequila show. Uh, tequila still uh, kind of gets a bad rap. It's, you know. It's totally misposition. Totally. Totally. You know, everyone knows Cuervo. Everyone knows doing shots, and people, salt, And some lime. people now know Patron. Yeah, Patron's so definitely the definitely one that, it a sting. that you're going to get. Um, I think tequila, though, the club. is definitely becoming much more popular. Um, I still get if funny looks. If you notice, looks. look at the way we're, we, we've got tumblers because yep. I've been noticing more and more people drinking tequila in, in a scotch format. Yeah, uh, you know, I get tons of funny looks if I order uh, just a tequila on the rocks or a tequila neat. Yep. And um, no one, you know, people are like, oh, you're looking to get messed up tonight, huh? And, and not really, you know, I mean, I can just... I can just sit and enjoy. When you're a big dude and you can pound it hard. That well, that's one. <laughs> that too. But uh, you know, it's not. I don't. I don't just pound them. Yeah, I, I think I actually I totally enjoy. Agree. I enjoy. You know, it's the difference between a shot of JD and, and totally. some really good, uh, you know, scotch. Or, let me, or let drinking me, some. Let bourbon. me add my two cents here. I totally agree with you. I look at tequila as a mispositioned product, just like I looked at wine in you know late 2005 when I just started decided to start this show. I think way too many people think that tequila is, you know, is, you know, tequila, tequila is like, when I think tequila as a branded like 10 years ago before I started paying attention to tequila, tequila was like, let's do tequila shots because we're going to get nasty tonight. Yeah. You know, like that's like the thought. Yeah. Like, like tequila was going to lead to one of those nights that you didn't talk about with your friends or the night you talked about with your friends. It was one or the other. It led to a night that was either talked about or never <laughs> talked about, you know? And I think people think about shooting it and taking shots of it, and what has definitely happened in the upscale wine bars, um, in, in a lot of the clubs, the upscale clubs, um, just it's so obvious you're seeing this trend to seeing people consume tequila, especially the premium tequila that we yeah. have today, in much more of a scotch, you know, single malt, you know, bourbon even kind of way. Even Absolutely. wine, in, in, you know, in a way where you're really swirling, you're really sniffy sniffing, because sniffy sniffing is not exclusive to just wine. It's a new one. You like the snippets? Yeah. Stuff. You want one, It's right? yellow. You I like do. I mean, yeah. Thanks, man. You got it, man. See, awesome. That's how we do. Anyway, it's not exclusive, Mott, to just wine. As a matter of fact, it's not even exclusive to just beverages. You can snip, you snip everything. Anyway, so um, 
I, that's what I see more people doing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, and, and so I emailed you up and said, "Hey, let's get the word out." Uh, I'm tired of tired of getting funny looks when I go to a restaurant or a bar. So you're using me to eliminate <laughs> funny looks. Uh, not just for me, but for everyone out there. We're that's, doing it for that's, we're, we're doing, doing it for, it for everyone. the entire the tequila nation out yes, there. The absolutely. TNs, step up. All yeah. right, Mott. I know you're enjoying yourself. You're laughing quite a bit because you're all giddy about the Giants fan thing. But I need you to zoom <laughs> in. Um, I also noticed that all of these are uh, reposado, huh? Yep, it's kind of the uh, middle of the road. In yep. terms of uh, age of a tequila, so uh, reposado, it's been rested. Uh, it's sat in a in a cask yep. uh, for uh, a few months, depending on the brand, six to nine months. Is the common thing, six yep. to nine months. Yep. Um, Cabo Wabo. Now this is attached to uh, Hagar. Uh, this is that's mm-hmm. uh, Hagar. So uh, you can pretty much, yeah. This is definitely one that you can find in in a lot Hagar. of places. Yep. <laughs> that, that Hagar. That Hagar. That. Um. <laughs> So let's get us a snippy. Sure. Yeah. Now this one rolls in at a nice, cool 39 bones. Big ups to Johnny Johnson. Johnny Johnson. Johnny Johnson, former Jet running back. A little fun fact about Johnny Johnson. In a game against the Bears on Sunday Night Football, he actually had a 97-yard run that did not end up with a touchdown. Wow. Mott, I, it has to. I mean, somebody needs to Google that for me. Is that the longest run in history not resulting in a touchdown? We were at the one. Oh, by the way, we didn't score a touchdown on that drive. Classic Jets. Um, I just remembered that. I was crushing. Johnny Johnson had a night. We were at the one. Handoff. Down the side. You know, you start in the middle, cut it to the outside. Down the sideline. But he was a bruising back, and he got caught at the one or the two. It was a 96, 97, 95-yard run. It was 97, I think. That's sick. That's anyway, yeah. sniffy sniff. I always smell lizard. It's a, lizard. It always comes to, and of course, it's it's, it's that whole like you know thought, but yeah. it's always so green and like, and uh, dry and, and insecty. Yeah, it's very insecty for me. Tequila on the nose always. Insecty, I like that. It is right. Yeah, I'm getting uh, Lime. definitely like uh, dried grass. No question. I get insects, and and lime. I get lime. I also get um a little. I get hay. I get dried hay yeah. too. I see where you're, is that where you're going with? I, yeah, I get yeah, like yeah, hay. I get, I get like hay. That, that dried. I also get a little like walnut. Walnut. Yeah. That's not a huge nut fan, but I, I can see oh, where I that is. Nuts. Yeah. I can definitely see. I like it. It's interesting. It's a little right. little little nutty. Let's give it a whirl. All right. Definitely a, um, there's a, there's a vegetable there. There's a, there's definitely a produce. Component. I would say this is hot on the palate. Yeah. <laughs> a um, bit. Oh, this is good. Great richness. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I actually do drink a good amount of tequila. Like, when I first started finally getting into hard alcohol, because I was not a drinker at all. It was always tequila in my, like, mid-twenties that I would like to drink. Um, I don't know why. I've always been a fan of tequila. I got into it, to it late. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think in your forties. Uh, in my forty, absolutely. <laughs> I was never too. Yeah, during college and school. The spiciness. Yeah. So it lingers. Total linger. Long Great time. finish. I like the spiciness. I get a red pepper component. I definitely get heavy on the, you know, lime, red pepper. Um, there's a goldenness to it. I, I'd like to say like, like a golden Granny Smith apple, but there's no apple. Kind of like almost like golden grams. Like it's weedy, hay kind of thing going on. Very creamy. Too very good texture, yeah. great mouthfeel. Yeah, hangs around definitely. Uh, coats coats the top of your mouth. I like that. Let's yeah. leave this on the side for now. I'm gonna, okay. I, ca- I'm, I want to do something a little bit different with the way we rate these. Okay. Because I don't have a real reference point for scoring um, <laughs> tequila. Let's go into the one that most people are gonna know. This is the Patron. This one rolls in at 45 bones. Um, let's see what this is doing. Patron is extremely hot right now. It's a huge brand. Yep. Um, it's doing extremely well in the. the um, in the clubs and the aftermarket, um, people collect the silver. I mean, it's gotten hot. Yep, yeah, they're, and they've got you know they've even got that ridiculous high end. The silver, uh, right? The platinum. Platinum. platinum, 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 yeah, yeah, which is awesome. I haven't tried it once. Man, that was overpriced. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, what always, you know, that's what always happens. <laughs> All right, let's give if it I got it as a gift, I wouldn't refuse it. Totally different nose. Oh, wow. Even on the color, mod, can you see this? 
how golden the Cabo is and how white the Patron is. Very interesting. This one's a lot more spicy on the nose. This is not quite as spicy. This is more, this is almost more floral and more like fruit driven. I mean, I, yeah. almost, I almost get like man, man, mandarines. I mean, tangerines. Yeah. Thank you. More, much more citrus. It's like mandarin. Uh, it's like, yeah, much more. A lot of a tangerine component coming through. Really nice nose. Again, a little bit like, I get a little clove on here as well. I get a little clove. Yep. Bring them up in five. A lot of things going on. <laughs> um, What else are you getting on there? Um, Chad. What, there's uh... Can I call you Brett? Brett? <laughs> what? Little <laughs> Jets joke oh. for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> See, Mike got all choked up on that. This one definitely just has a, kind of a cleaner, it doesn't, doesn't last as long. I totally agree, it's yeah, much more it's, clean than yeah. this. Yeah, the other one just smells This, when older. you smell this, yeah, don't this you think one... this is gonna be smoother? Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, it's not I gonna think last that's, as long. It's gonna be more. I don't, I'm not crisp. as worried about. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sh so sure that it won't last as long. But I agree with you when you said cleaner. Um, I, I just feel like it's going to be um, or smoother, and I cleaner. I just think that you can smell the fact that it's going to be silkier and yeah. easier to put down. It's gonna be interesting. Let's go world. Yeah, I mean, it's just so much easier in the palate. Yeah. Uh, much less intense. Yeah, which is in a way good. Yeah, it, you know this. Uh, I would probably go go through this a lot quicker than I'm going to go through this one. A lot easier to drink. You yeah. know, it's almost like this was a peaty scotch and this wasn't right. It's easier on the palate. It's a more creamy c component. I almost think of this as tequila creamsicle because I get like the creaminess and I get like the orange thing. So yeah. imagine you know creamsicle that would be like a tequila shot. It's kind of that kind of style. Very smooth, very easy drinking, very polished. Maybe not as charismatic, intriguing, and as complex as the last one. Um, but definitely an easier yeah. tequila to put down. Yeah, this is a great, I can, I mean, that's why I, I think Patron has become what it's, besides the marketing, but I, but I wonder, besides the buzz. Yeah, I mean the marketing yeah. is in place and they've done a good job in the hip hop community. I wonder if at some level though, for a purist, for a hardcore um, tequila drinker, I almost feel like this Patron is simplicity. I almost look at this in a way as, I'm questioning, I'm not a tequila connoisseur on the same level as I am with wine, let's say, or root beer for that matter, um, or New York Jets. You know, is, th is this looked upon with somebody who drinks consistent tequila as more of a Santa Margarita, as more of a Yellowtail, as more of a Kendall Jackson, as more of a, you know, Jordan Cab, as more of a commodity product that's figured out the flavor profile of the consumer sure. and has won on that more so than the complexities and the intricacies that make beverages so interesting. Yeah, I think definitely this is a much easier one for someone who's not a tequila drinker to get them into it. I no question you know, about this it. This is this is you wanna try it, you wanna you wanna try a tequila neat, you wanna you yeah. know, um, you know, a little after this dinner is, or something. This totally. is this is the one I'm giving. I totally agree. Pre dinner, post dinner you know, go out and you want to get into this, you watch the show, you're like, oh man, that Chad guy's amazing, the curly locks are just unstoppable, I need to drink tequila, you know, then this is probably the one you want to start with as your yeah. base because the simplicity and the, and the clean and uh, smooth finish is definitely something I think is going to attract a lot of people today. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, yeah, I mean, no difference. There's so much more complexity going on. Actually, do you notice on the Cabo, uh, there's a little bit of a, like an eggnog component? I was just about to say, this This totally smells sweet now. Right? The longer it's been sitting here. It, it or maybe in contrast to this. Yeah, maybe. This smells so much like eggnog to me. So this much. This is like, Weird. like, like vanilla ice cream with the, where, with the caramel, where it's, yeah. it's like melting. I tot I totally, nice yeah. work, dude. <laughs> I totally agree. That's like, it's an eggnoggy, milky kind of, Ooh. No. What'd I just do? I think you tainted the, the yeah. Patron. That was bad. We got a Party fresh fell. one here. There you go. There we this. go. Just, just, yeah. And this. There we go. Now this one, first of all, is a pimp package. Um, this is the Corzo. This one rolls in at 45 bones, and the bottle itself is probably worth 45 bones. Ma, wouldn't you say? I mean, this looks like something you definitely would want to put in your dorm room and put a flower out of it. I mean, just very cool. Like you used to do with the Lancers and the black lights and listening to Zeppelin and all that crap. So, 45 bones. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah. Little snippy snip. 
And ironically, is it true? Is this completely in between in color? This is it is absolutely in between. Absolutely in between. Ma, yep. you know what? Get up in here. See this. This new one, the Corzo, you can see. Can you tell by the zoom in? Or not quite as much between these two? Not as much between the middle and that. How about now? Yes. Yeah, I mean, just completely in between in color, which I find fascinating. Let's give it a sniffy snip and a whirl. I get such an interesting, like, tobacco, like, Tabasco. Like tobacco and Tabasco, that is what comes to mind. I get, what you get? getting getting beach, beach like boardwalk. You think you're think you're smelling suntan lotion? Because I kind of get a little bit of that. Uh, yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe that's I'm the get, association. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm definitely get beach comes to mind. I like this that's, show. Like we're drinking tequila or Mello, Mott. I feel like we're sitting on the sands. <laughs> like that Corona commercial is right, right, right? I just feel like we're sitting here. We're at the beach. We're a million miles This is away. the beach. <laughs> Sun, awesome. Give this a whirl. I do get a little bit of that suntan lotion meets tobacco Tabasco. I like the tobacco Tabasco. <laughs> Probably the sharpest. No question. Three. Is it the highest yeah. in alcohol? Let's see that. First and foremost. Um, 40% alcohol, just like the other three. They're all 40, I think. Yep. Um, yep, they're all 80 proof. I agree. I think this one's a little bit off balanced in the scheme of things. I think the other two were a little bit better. I'm getting that, that Tabasco now. The, definitely the yeah, pepper spicy. right on the front. I mean, it's okay. I get a little bit of like cauliflowered, uh, lemon flavored cauliflower on the palate, which I kind of like. It's kind of neat. I mean, it's kind of good, but it is hot yeah. in comparison. You definitely. Taste the alcohol much more in this wine than the other two. Yeah. And it's a little bit disjointed. From a flavor profile, if this was a wine, I would consider this pretty disjointed. Yeah, it definitely hits you hard, and then I don't think it lasts as long as the other two even do either. It's no, not, it doesn't. Yeah. It's a completely disappearing finish. Yeah. This is interesting. I mean, you know, really bringing these down, I mean, to me, the culture of drinking tequila in this fa fashion is definitely on the rise. I can see myself definitely doing this. I mean, this is nice. Yeah. On the rocks. See? You know, oh, well, I know. I know. I've done it. I've Hope done everyone it. everyone else out there. Yeah, you just go, look at them. Just get, go, get fired up. Just go get, pick up one or two. Do what? this. Yeah, show them. They like it. Like, <laughs> get pissed. I'd go out there. And, you no, know, no, pissed. Pissed? Yeah. Go. How pissed? I'm a Hogan Ho before WrestleMania 4 pissed. Like, like socks just beat yes. the Yanks pissed? Yes, that pissed. That go. pissed? Everyone, you should be going out there. Try at least picking up this Patron. At least pick up this. Try even if it, if if you want the the Blanco, the white one, the the silver. Go try it out. Check it out. You know, don't don't mix it with you know the sugary sweet margarita. And crap forget the lime at the end. There. Yeah, no salt. No licking your hand. No at licking. Salt. You know, just I just take the salt from my eyebrows and lick that. Just and then <laughs> Is that, was that okay to say? Yeah. <laughs> um, and if you're into some complexity yeah. and you're interested in trying different flavor profiles and you've done tequila on a Cuervo level, maybe even a Patron level, uh, the Cabo Wabo was very good. I thought brought a lot of intensity yeah. by far. To me, you know, if I was rating them in the wine world, th this would be like a 92, this would be like a 90, and this would be like an 86, if that makes any sense. Uh, Mott, let's link up these t websites for these sites, for these sites, for these tequilas. Um, good stuff. I mean, I think this brought some, I, mean, I hope this, you know, on this show, what I care about is opening up people's minds, getting them to try different things, yep. you know, trusting their own palate, and I'm hoping by having shows like this mixed in once in a while that they're looking at things a little bit differently. So I appreciate you coming on, opening up that door to the Vayner Nation. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't like that you're a Giants fan. I gotta be honest with you. I also think you need to ask the question Sorry. of the day. Go. Question of the day is, uh, I knew pretty you, you were gonna do this but you're too. Pretty, you were no, kind I got, of yeah, yeah, I got, I got this one. I knew you were gonna ask me. Uh, what? What is the one thing that most people at your work don't know about you that makes you, you? Chad, dude, that is an awesome question. I'm dying, I'm dying to, uh, wow. For Mod, it would be his underpants. What, this, this man's a connoisseur of underpants. Connoisseur? Connoisseur. Yeah. You, with a little bit of me, and awesome guys like Chad, even though he's a Giants fan, but he asks great questions of the day. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, man. Good luck at Scripps, Food Network. We'll talk later. We're changing the <laughs> wine world, the tequila world, and just the world.
whether they like it or not.